G'day. In today's video, I'm replacing the thermal paste on a MSI GeForce GTX 1060 Gaming X 6 gig model. And get in here. I don't assume it's going to be relatively straightforward with just these four screws here. We'll find out as we proceed, though. We're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver. We'll be doing pushing through the warranty void seal, which is expected, being this is also out of warranty anyway. Hopefully a bit of luck. Let's give this a twist. There we go. Yeah, we do have one fan header over here. I disconnect that. I'm just wiggling it back and forth, back and forth. Let's lift it up from there. There's the connector. And if we fold this over, we can see we have the thermal factory thermal paste on here. From here, I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol and some tissue paper. This is fairly chunky stuff on here. There we go. You might not need the isopropyl. Simply just giving it a wipe, you should be able to rem remove the majority of it. As you can see there, I just removed the serial number by accident, right there. Let me fold this down here, zoom you guys in a bit further. And basically, go, I'm just going over this dry. And as you can see, the majority of that's leaving anyway without the isopropyl. The isopropyl just turns into a bit more of a liquid, makes it easier. Grab another one again. And go over it again. Go. And I'll just go over that just a little bit with a toothbrush. There we go. Next up from here we need some thermal paste. I'm just gonna use some some deep cool Z5. And we'll put that just squirt some on there. Don't need to use too much on it. As with the internet, this would be wrong. Always wrong putting thermal paste on the internet. There we go. I'm happy with that coverage. Now I'll fold this back over, connect up the fan cable. Eyes in view, connector into there, push, fold it over, and I'm going to line up the four holes there, like that, and then put in the Phillips head screws once more. So, strangely, that thermal paste, even though it was from the factory, still seemed to be actually pretty decent, which is very rare, especially on a GPU of this age. I normally expect the thermal paste to be quite poor and hardened and virtually powder. But MSI must have picked some good stuff at the time. I'm not sure how much, how much or how many degrees this will shave off in the future. I just like replacing the thermal paste on older hardware, just so then it's actually going to hopefully live a little bit longer. Anyway, push down. We're all good. I'm happy with that. Hopefully you are too, and I'll see you later. Bye.